Okay, 9.3, you're going to learn how to um, graph the fraction functions or reciprocal functions. So, you're going to learn a new parent graph today. It's a fraction or reciprocal function. And here it is, f of x equals 1 over x. And it makes a hyperbola. You get closer and closer to the horizontal asymptote, to the vertical, and same thing down here. Um, and I'll explain about the domain and the range. But that's the, um, that's the parent graph. So we're going to translate it. And this gets a little confusing, but the vertical asymptote is down here. And this is the horizontal asymptote over here. And this lets you know a positive, um, a positive one puts you in these two quadrants, the first and the third, if it's a positive. And if it's a negative, they put you in the second and the fourth quadrant. So you'd make it, you would just reflect it. Okay, let's just do some examples because it's kind of confusing looking at them. So here's the first one. F of x is equal to three divided by x minus two. So there's supposed to be a plus zero at the end of this. This down here is the vertical asymptote. All you do is you set it equal to zero and solve for x. So at x equals two is a vertical line. So put a vertical line at x equals two. The horizontal asymptote is this up here. So you're gonna put a horizontal dotted line at zero, which is right here. Notice that the number up here is a positive. So you're gonna make your hyperbola gets closer and closer to each of those dotted lines like this. This is what I don't want you to do. Let's say you have, I don't want you to go like that. I want you to get closer and closer to this one and closer and closer to that one. The domain are all your x values of the graph. So the domain is a negative infinity to a positive infinity, except, except at x equals two. Do you see that? You can't go through x equals two. And the range is also a negative infinity to a positive infinity, except at the y equals to zero. So we'll go through a couple more of these. You'll catch on. You'll catch on. This is all we're doing. Um, let's do a, two more, and I'll, I know you'll catch on. This stands for the vertical asymptote, the VA. And this stands for the horizontal asymptote. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna set that equal to zero and solve for x to find the vertical. The vertical asymptote is at x equals three. So go one two, three, and make vertical dotted line. It's called the vertical asymptote. The horizontal asymptote, you don't have to do anything. It's at a negative two, so at, a ho at the negative two, make a horizontal dotted line. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is the four is a positive value, so you're in these two quadrants. The domain is everywhere from a negative infinity to a positive infinity, your graph. Everything is shaded in except at x equals 3, because there's a dotted line. And the range is everything from a negative infinity to a positive infinity except at y equals a negative 2. Horizontal as the letter Y attached to it, the vertical has the letter X attached to it. And the domain are the X values and the range are your Y values. Okay, one last problem. I'll put the steps over here. Steps. First thing, locate your VA, your vertical asymptote. Right here, it's in the denominator. All you're gonna do is set it equal to zero and solve for X. So you have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Right here. 
Second step, locate your horizontal acetals, plus four. So you're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and put a horizontal line right there. That's your hop. The number up on top, if it's positive, you are in the first and the third quadrant. If it's negative, you are in the second and the fourth quadrant. So you're gonna be in this quadrant and this quadrant because it's a negative one. The domain and the range are all gonna be a negative infinity to a positive infinity, except um, domain start is x, so it's except x equals two and except y equals four. Final answer. And that's how you graph fractions.